what's your message to the people of Reading about this? With all the hubbub about, you know, they're going to come in, they're going to take over the place, what's going on? <laughs> now, what do you want to tell them? I think we want people to know that this is a, a very open process. We're, uh, we keep saying we're at meeting zero. We're not even at meeting one yet. So we're really just setting up a process, a design process to be successful. And the way that we do our projects um, is entirely community sourced. We want people to engage. Uh, we have to have people to engage for our projects to be successful. Um, we have ideas, but our ideas are just half of the equation. And I think when communities engage in the process, positive and negative, we welcome every, every engagement. Um, and we want people to understand that we are absolutely going to host open forums, town halls, workshops, design workshops. We have a lot of different methods that we can use to get people engaged. You know, some people like to speak, some people like to draw, some people like to uh, complain. That's all fine. Um, we'll take all the input because it's our job as designers to listen to everybody first before we draw anything. Um, then we come back with ideas. Uh, and then people get a chance to respond again and again and again until everybody's really happy. So, I want people to know that we've not drawn anything yet. We have a lot of ideas. Um, growing up here, I know the site extremely well. Uh, knowing the people in Reading, I know what's possible. I know what, what this place can be. I know how exciting of a, of a destination Reading can be. I know what a great place that the Civic Center site can be. Uh, so we just want more of that. We don't want to displace anything. Uh, we just want to make what's here better uh, and then grow and see what else can come and make it a more active site uh, more often. Growing up here, you know, kind of answers the question, you know, why do you want to do this? You know, Reading's always held that element of potential. Um, I mean, from being a kid, I remember there was always big stories about, you know, we could be this, we could be that. And that's part, about, part of being a small town. Uh, we're not a big city. That's what's special about, about being from Reading is that uh, you can be something else. Um, we want to make sure that we're not what we don't want to be as well. So let's not bring elements into the city that we don't want to become as a community. Um, but I think for me, it's very important when you, when you have a chance to affect uh, your hometown through your profession, that happens very rarely, uh, especially I would say for architects of, of, of my experience where our projects are literally around the world. Um, the idea of coming back and, and working in my hometown on a project um, of our specialty, of things that we do, not trying to do something that we don't do but designing and master planning a site um, aimed at gathering people together for memorable experiences. It's exactly what Populous does, uh, and it's exactly what I've done around the world. So the idea of doing that for my hometown and creating a better community for the next generation or for the next hundred years even, it's, it's an opportunity I couldn't pass up. So it, I know it's, it, it's business, so it's not totally altruistic. So you know, assure me that you're not a company coming into town just trying to make a buck and leave. Yeah. Well, we haven't made a buck yet, so I'll just put that out there. I think um, we, as Populous, um, we look into our projects very seriously. We have a lot of opportunities around the world. Um, the connection to Reading is the fact that it is my hometown. The other partners on our team are my friends, people I've known uh, my whole life. Uh, and when we ask each other, uh, what can we do for our hometown and our community, this is it. So I think um, as a business, we absolutely want to design and bring the best resources to Reading that we can. Uh, populous resources, other consultants that we've worked with on projects. Um, so yes, there's a money aspect and a transactional aspect of, of getting the business done. We're not there yet. That's the next step in the phase is to actually do the planning process. And then out of the master planning process comes design of the facilities uh, and then construction. So we're a long ways off. And I think for us, um, having these conversations uh, getting to know the site, uh, hearing from the community, this is step zero. So we have to do this before we even start the planning process. So I think that time will come. I think um, uh, the actual uh, negotiations will happen at the right time. I think the city council is doing the absolute right thing by opening up this process to the community to, to voice their support or opposition. And we're here to listen because I think that's going to craft a better uh, deal for us um, because it's going to be authentic, it's going to be genuine, <clears throat> and it's going to be from the community. Not on the drawing board yet, <laughs> but from a, a, a just a, an imagination standpoint, you know, yeah. what, what, what's the potential there? <clears throat> Sorry. Knock down the Civic Auditorium, start over, re, redo what's there. Same thing with with the rodeo grounds. Yeah. What are the possibilities with it that we're thinking about? Well, <clears throat> sorry, excuse me. Um, for us, fortunately, being in the design field, uh, anything is possible. That's what's fun about what we do. 
Uh, my expertise is in convention centers. I've designed convention centers uh, in Australia, in the Middle East, and all over North America. And um, we always start with what we have. And when you look at options, it's, it's truly to look at every option possible. And I think it gets people excited. Um, we are architects, we love buildings, but we don't want them to be in the way of progress or we don't want them to be in the way of a better experience. Right now, we don't know that yet with the Civic Center. I think it's a beautiful building. I think it could be a beautiful building for a long time. It's built very well. So we could look at options of expanding it, adding on to it, renovating it, um, adding facilities adjacent to it. Um, you, when you look at current trends in the marketplace for meetings and conventions, um, we need more breakout space, we need exhibition space, we need more hotel space. You know, if Reading is truly going to be a destination, uh, it needs more of these things um, to be very successful. And I think the Civic Center offers a great starting point. Um, from a planning point of view, when you look at the site, it's literally right in the middle. That could be a good thing, it could be a bad thing. We don't, we don't know yet. But I think this idea of de developing um, options for master plans, we're, we're going to come back with lots of options. We're going to come back with options that keep it. Um, but I think the fun part about it is when we suspend disbelief and you say, if we can preserve the idea of gathering, if we can preserve the experience of, of coming together, and that could be the rodeo, that could be the Civic Center, it could be a new amphitheater, it could be all kinds of things. We love to wipe the slate clean just to see what's possible and then you build back together as a community. Um, it's very liberating. Uh, we do it every day as designers because we're just constantly drawing. And sometimes people don't get to do that. Some, sometimes people never get to do that in their lives. And it's really enjoyable when you can just um, dream for a little bit. And then you come back and say, okay, if that's the best idea, then what? And if the best idea is to keep the Civic Center, great. If, it, if the best idea the community loves is to do something different, great. And that's the, that's the best part about our design process is to really dream big. People are concerned, you know, the rodeo is going to go away. I don't think <laughs> that's the case. And, but I can see, and it certainly it's been talked about, you know, <clears throat> formally about, you know, a, a, a multi-purpose kind of facility. Yeah. So um, I absolutely want the rodeo to be here. I think it has to be here. Uh, the rodeo is an event. Um, the rodeo is also a place. And we've worked with a lot of clients where their brand, um, their events, and their venue are all the same thing. We work with the Super Bowl and the NFL where the Super Bowl changes venues every year. So there's an interesting aspect to what are we really trying to build for the future. We want to build a better rodeo experience in the heart of Reading. We don't know what that means yet. We're absolutely going to work uh, with the Reading Rodeo Association and the Asphalt Cowboys. It's exciting to think about what's possible. They want to grow their business. They want to grow their attendance, we can help them do that. If that means a new arena, great. If it means renovating their existing arena, great. If it means a temporary venue, great. I think all those options are on the table. And I think what we're trying to build and design is a place for people to come together to make memories. The rodeo is just one part of that schedule. And I think when you look at the core events that are on the site, Cool April Nights, the Reading Rodeo, the 4th of July, things like that, those are just a few events. We want more of those. And I think when you look at venue design, we, do, we design a lot of flexible facilities that can do a lot of things. Um, you can think of an amphitheater, see, a amphitheater and rodeo grounds um, kind of doing the same thing. Uh, you can think of a convention center um, and community center kind of doing the same thing. So we're designing a lot of very adaptable facilities and places to do more things more often. So what we don't want to have is we don't want to have a venue sit there empty for a long time. Um, we want the public to come down here and use this space a lot. Uh, and sometimes when you have empty buildings or empty areas of the site, that can push people away. So we don't know what that looks like yet, uh, but we absolutely think this is the home of the rodeo forever. Uh, and our job is to design a place for that to be better than it could ever be. What I'm hearing from everything is anything's possible. Anything is possible. I, again, we, I'm so fortunate to, to work at a place like Populous. Um, we do amazing things. Uh, we do things that are unbelievable sometimes. Uh, when you look at the, uh, the scale of the events and the facilities that we design and, and deliver, um, it's great because communities, when they dream big, great things happen. It doesn't always mean something big happens, but better always happens. So we've, we've moved beyond bigger is better, and we've talked a lot about uh, the world better is better. Better experiences uh, create better communities, and I think when you dream big about what's possible, we like to remove all doubt and just say, just for a moment, let's master plan together. Let's think about all the things that we've wanted to have happen, 
at this location or even in this community. Uh, I think we're looking at the Civic Center site, but we absolutely want to look at Reading as a destination. And what are those things that we've always wanted to have happen here? Uh, and we can dream together and we can create it together. We come up with a master plan together and then we can execute it uh, and see where the future takes us. This is a very long process. I think master planning and design, you know, at least a year or two. And then the projects that come out of that that need to get built, there's some reality there. But I do believe we're setting up uh, Reading for the future uh, of, or, or the next generation. You know, this is what it takes is to put in the hard work now, dream big. It doesn't need to be done overnight. It needs to be done right. How does this work with populace, McConnell, the city? How does all that work together? So that's to be determined. That's the partnership that we've formed um, that we'll uh, uh, negotiate with the city. Um, but I first met the McConnell Foundation, K2 Development, and Turtle Bay um, through the downtown projects. Um, the Block 7 project, Market Street, um, projects that K2 was developing in partnership with McConnell Foundation. And I came in to advise them to, to think bigger. You know, when you're building a project downtown, you can, you can quickly think about your own property site. Um, but I pushed the team to think bigger, uh, think about the downtown in general, think about the courthouse to the hospital. Um, from the river all the way to South Park, you know, think of that as the, as the project site. Uh, and that was really a great process. So I think um, we all are on the same page uh, about doing something great for our community. And you need to do that one project at a time. So I think Populous offers to that group um, constantly thinking bigger um, and thinking outside of the box. And then as you go and execute each of these projects, do it within the context of building a better community. So that's where I think we're, we're very well aligned um, and we're, we, we all do different things very well. Uh, we're engaged in the community. Um, we know how to develop. We know how to design. So it's a really special team that's come together to uh, take on this task. That was kind of my next and maybe last question. Yeah. Was this is down here is part of the puzzle, but there is there's downtown, there's Park Marina. The vision is to tie all that together. Yeah. You know, I think that was the natural evolution of the conversation of downtown. You know, when you when you want to when you want to move people downtown, when you think about families possibly living downtown or, or or young professionals living downtown, what are you going to do? And for me, growing up here, I know how close downtown is to the river, but right now there's no great access to the waterfront. Um, we don't have a waterfront that's developed uh, or a place that you can go have a meal or a walk necessarily in a, in an active way. We have the trail system, which is great. But if I'm living downtown and I want to go engage and have a meal on the river, where do, where do I do that? And so it's a, it's a very short walk. Um, right now, you, you, um, you can't quite get there from downtown. But if you just look at it on a map, if I were to walk from the downtown core if, as the crow flies to the Civic Center, it's very close and it's very doable. It could be a 10 minute walk. Uh, you know, there's the cemetery, of course, there's Highway 44. There are these boundaries that exist, um, but if we can work with these folks and work with the partners of, of, of gaining access to the waterfront, great things can happen. And I think when you add those things together, downtown, Civic Center, Park Marina, you start to think about a really great community um, that has really been divided over the years, physically and geographically divided, with highways, uh, with other boundaries, with, with properties. We want to look beyond that. We want to link everything together and really create a special place uh, that the core of Reading can be and, and, and be a great destination for people to come to. Anything else you want to say? Well, we're excited. You know, it's, it's so, excited, uh, so exciting to get this started. Um, it's great to be here in person. Um, I'm here often, but being here in a professional capacity is very fun, uh, you know, and doing what we do well and bringing that uh, home. Um, you know, our, again, our expertise is in designing. Right now, we are listening and we will be listening for a long time. Um, but like you said, we have ideas. I know the community has a ton of ideas. Our favorite part of the process is where those, those processes meet um, and we get to draw and design and dream together. And, and we've done it in other communities. It's been extremely successful. Um, and I think we've, we've always exceeded expectations. We're always careful to, to say that. but. Um, other communities have realized how much fun design can be and how much fun the planning process can be. Um, and then engaging with the professionals that can actually deliver on those promises. Uh, that's been our experience and I'm, I'm so happy to bring it home.